Okay, so let's say uh, you use Webmaster Tools with Google. Um, this is a great way to manage your relationship with Google, and as part of that, you can do some things to improve your search rank. And one of those tools, which uh, is one of their lesser known tools, is called Data Highlighter. And what we're going to do is I have this page on my site, which uh, is a newsroom. And this is powered by uh, Rebel Mouse, uh, but you may have another page that looks like this on your website. Uh, my company, Social Grinder, this is our website, and one of the things that we do is we help you integrate these kinds of newsroom experiences into your existing website. So um, this one's all ready to go, and one of the final steps that we would do is copy the URL and pop that into Google Webmaster Tools. So the first thing you're going to do is click on Start Highlighting. You're going to pop that URL in up here. Um, for any sort of newsroom or blog style of a page, you're going to select Articles. And I just want to tag this one page. And then hit OK. It might take a minute for this to load uh, because there's a lot going on. Um, this takes a lot of processing power. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is make sure that I highlight the title of one of the posts. I just clicked and dragged, and then, it, and then this menu appears. So I'm going to check title just to tell it that this is the title for this particular article. The other thing I'm going to do is just sort of grab this area up here and assign that to the author. Again, I just clicked and dragged and released and the menu appears. The date in this case is a little bit more complicated. I'm just going to select the month and then I'm going to come over here to advanced and select month. So that month is done but the day I'm going to have to select separately date publish, advanced, day. Okay and you can see over here on the right it started building one article. And so this is Google telling us Okay, I see that you've highlighted one article with the following title, author, and date. There's one final thing. I'm going to right click on the image and then tell it that this is the image. And see there, look, it pops up as the image for this article. Now, I'm going to move down to the next one along this left column. If you use Rebel Mouse and you know what you're doing, I highly recommend that you just work on the first two that are in the left column. So again, I'm just going to start with the title. And now look at what happens. It says that it's applying suggestions. Basically, it has now figured out the pattern on this page for the most part. And over here, so this is when the processing power is really needed and a fast internet connection really helps. Uh, because right now it's it's going through uh, a lot of these posts, and it's going to now dis and it's going to try to display a list for me over here on the right side, and right now it's building that list. I'm pretty much done at this point, but I'm going to let it do its thing. Uh, as soon as it's done thinking, I'm just going to click on the publish button up here at the top, because as you can see. Uh, Everything looks like it's coming together just fine. It's got the title, an author, date and time, or sorry, a day and a month, an image. It's not screwing up big time. And that's really all that I need. This page is so complex, I could spend a lot of time trying to tag it perfectly. But the reality is that the tools, the technology that I'm using to power this page, aren't going to play all that nicely. This is about as good as it gets. Uh, with this tool. So I'm going to hit publish and it's going to say, aha, you're missing some stuff. What are we missing? It, we are missing the year of these posts. See, it says, it's kind of faded out, but it says required. The year is required. But you know what? On this page, the year does not appear. So I'm going to just make that a permanent value for every post. And luckily, I'm making this video at the beginning of 2014. 
So it shouldn't be a big issue for this year. Uh, technically, I would want to come back at the end of 2014 and change that to 2015. Uh, but that we're a lean marketing operation, so uh, that's sort of a nice to have. Let's just let it be for right now. And hopefully Google's tool a year from now will be smart enough to, to make its own decisions about the year. So I'm going to click Publish again, I think, unless it's processing. But uh, you know, at this point, it should just take me back to the screen uh, where I was before we got started. So I don't want to waste your time while we wait for it to finish thinking. But uh, of course, you can leave me comments with your questions. And if you need some help getting a newsroom like this up and running on your website so that it can improve search engine optimization, don't hesitate to reach out. Thanks a lot.